Welcome to Boxing Enthusiast YouTube channel. Like, subscribe, and left hook that notification bell. It's a certain toughness inside of Tyson Fury. Don't ever, ever, ever miss me, Tyson. Everyone says he's awkward, he's just that. But I know him personally. He's lived with me in my home, too. It's, uh, and he stayed with me. And I've trained Latimer. I've had them all together. He is maybe the toughest. I was born and I died three times. I was seven weeks premature. And uh, the doctor said to me, Dad, he said, right, he's here, but he's not very strong or he's not very big. You told the doctor yeah. not only would he live, yeah. but he would grow to be... Nearly seven feet tall, 20 stone, and the new heavyweight champion of the world. And he started laughing at me. He said, Dad, I'm going to call him Tyson after the current heavyweight champion of the world. The year was 2010. Tyson Fury packed a bag and decided to go to America in search of the famous Kronk gym founder and head trainer, Emmanuel Stewart. Fury searched around for Stewart on the streets of Detroit and put the word out that he was looking for the trainer. The unlikely pair immediately gelled and formed a great chemistry. Manny Stewart immediately recognized that Fury had bags of talent and predicted that he would go on to be the world heavyweight champion one day. Tyson Fury has the ability, and I think in my expectations, will be the next superstar dominant heavyweight, much along the lines of Lennox Lewis and Vladimir Klitschko. Very talented for a big guy, unbelievable coordination, uh, a lot of showmanship and personality and charisma. The Hall of Fame trainer, one of the greatest trainers of all time, sadly passed away in 2012. Ten years after his death, Emmanuel's nephew, Sugar Hill Stewart, would go on to train Tyson. Sugar Hill has successfully guided Tyson to four world title wins, and four straight knockout wins. Bringing back that famous Kronk knockout style to Fury's game. I bring to the table my experience in training fighters and being around big time fights my whole life. In my bloodline, my uncle, Emmanuel, he boxed, his brother boxed, you know, his brother-in-law boxed, it's just boxing in the family. I fell right into that myself. Sugar Hill and Tyson have forged a great chemistry, knocking out Deontay Wilder twice, Dillian White and Derek Chisora, staying undefeated since Sugar Hill took over Tyson's camp as head trainer. You know, I also want to say, this man here, Sugar Hill Stewart, he made me a great fighter what I am. Years ago, I used to jib and jab, touch and slide, what you're seeing in here tonight. Sugar, what a legend you are, mate. And you made me the, boat, the biggest puncher in the heavyweight division by a mile. You are Solid the biggest puncher. knockout puncher. Tell them why. Big knockout puncher, big dogs. Take the time, you work hard. That's a testament to you and to everybody else to know hard work does pay off. You was at the top, and you took your time to just degrade yourself and let me mold you and take you all the way to where you're at right now, the biggest puncher in boxing. Thank, Thank you, you very much, team. Sugar. This man's the best trainer in world boxing, including anybody. Unbelievable tonight we were. Next up for Fury is the much-anticipated, undisputed heavyweight world championship showdown against WBA, IBF and WBO champion, Alexander Usyk. Can Sugar Hill lead Fury to undisputed success, keeping alive his Uncle Manny's legendary Kronk style? Not long until we find out. We will have the first undisputed heavyweight champion in 20 years since Lennox Lewis, who was guided to undisputed success by none other than, Emmanuel Stewart. Thanks for watching. Take it easy, my fellow boxing enthusiasts.